Hey, many fish. 27th of July, 2018. And I had to show you this. This one hen and 76 ducklings, right? Were spotted in uh, Minnesota, right? And this is a big deal. It's never been seen before to have one hen duck uh, leading a brood of 76 ducklings, okay? And, you know, they explained it in the article here, and I'll link it, but it's never been seen before. And there are a couple things that came immediately into my mind when I saw this. And one was the, the hen, because I was just reading this this morning in Luke 13. I want talks about, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered the children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and ye would not. It's the first thing I thought of, and the second thing I thought of was the 76 and the one hen. Check this out. Jesus, in line from Adam, okay, mind you, 77th, right? From the first to the last, right? And Mary fell right in. She was in that lineage too, you know. And Joseph. She was 76th of all things she could be. 76th. And she had the one Jesus. And he makes 77. <laughs> I thought that was just crazy. Crazy, crazy. But, you know, I'm telling you, when it pertains to the Jews here, I mean, this is no joke. I mean, this connects right back to the other day with the West Wall, with the stone falling out. The house divided. Okay? I mean, your house has been less desolate unto you. Okay? And verily I say unto you, ye shall not see me until the time come when ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Okay? So, man, this is just crazy. I, I don't really have it all kind of figured out here, but I do know that this all connects together. That's That to me is just... <laughs> that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. So, there you go. Uh... Come on, people, if you're not in Christ and you're just kind of dangling on the fence there or something and this stuff isn't really making sense to you, you got to dig in there and ask for the truth. Jesus, please show me the truth. And he'll, he'll show you. Pull out the word of God and start reading. Keep praying and he'll show you and lead you everywhere you need to go. Okay, so let's do that. And uh, I wanted to just touch on a couple of things regarding... Uh, NASA, because I cannot stress enough that NASA is key in what is coming to to basically fool the world once again. Just like this man, Stanley Kubrick, the key figure in how they fooled the entire world back in 1969 through the magic TV screens. Yeah, Hollywood magic. And this is what they did then, and it's what they're going to do again. Except this time, they got things that are going to just defy people's imagination. And people will believe it if they don't know the truth. And the only way to know the truth is through Jesus Christ. Okay? Seriously. You can't. You, you just, what do you do with that? That's, that's no accident. Okay? Just get right with Jesus. Bottom line. And keep looking up. Keep praying up and be blessed. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 